Once upon a time, in a village near the edge of the jungle, lived a five-year-old boy named Dreamer. Dreamer lived with his mother, father, sister, and grandmother in a bamboo hut perched on stilts. Like all other families in the village, every morning at breakfast, they shared their most memorable dreams from the night before. Usually, at least one of Dreamer's family members had a gift to share from a dream they had. His grandmother was offered songs from her dream allies, and his mother was taught new dances from hers. His father was often called Bridger, an honor that meant he was gifted with good ideas in his dreams for projects to contribute to the community. Others in the village supported his ideas with respect and helped him create them in the waking world. One such example of this was his design to help people cross the river nearby. To the dream people, dreams were considered the highest social authority. And since Dreamer's father's dream ideas usually worked, his helpers eagerly participated to help him, all the while referring to him as Bridger. Dreamer's 10-year-old sister, Seer, had recently discovered that she had the ability to dream important events before they happened. This gift was acknowledged and taken seriously by the community, and Dreamer's family listened in a different way to Seer's dreams, especially when she said she felt them to be this type of dream. One morning at breakfast, Dreamer began to cry hot tears into his rice and coconut milk. He had dreamed a terrifying nightmare. When he caught his breath, he told his family about the dream. In his dream, a fierce tiger, the animal that most threatened the lives of the dream people, was chasing him through the jungle to eat him. When he looked up from telling the dream, he saw that his sister was smiling. Why is she smiling? he asked. That dream was not funny. His mother spoke softly. Seer is smiling because when she was your age, she had the same dream. A tiger visits the dreams of all dream people children when they are ready to learn. What does it mean? Dreamer asked. Dreamer's mother traced with her finger a design she had carved into the table. It looked like this. This is the dream world, she explained to him, and this is the waking world. The dream people believed that these two worlds were equal in validity and importance. Dreamer's mother taught him that he weaved back and forth between the two worlds each day and night, and that he had to learn the differences between the two worlds so that he could grow healthy and strong in every way and bring joy and assistance to his people as he got older. Because dreams were respected, talked about, and weaved as bridges into waking life, the dream people had lived in peace with each other without violence and crime for more than 300 years. Then, Dreamer's father spoke. The tiger in the dream is your animal energy, he said. Just like everything else in your dream, he is a part of you. It is important that you talk to this tiger. See if you can get to know him and become friends with him so he can help you and become your dream ally. What will I say to him? Dreamer asked hesitantly. Ask him what he wants, his father instructed. I know what he wants. He wants to eat me. I'm so afraid of him, father. What can I do? You must learn to be a dreamtime warrior and face your fears, 